Brundle takes a shot at Verstappen. When it comes to Sky F1 and their biases towards other teams, such as Red Bull, few things can surprise us. One of these things is the way they have handled the 2021 finale. And that is something the streaming service spoke about through one of their interviewers, Ted Kravitz. Ted has spoken publicly about his opinion of the 2021 F1 finale, saying that Hamilton was robbed and that Verstappen is the guy that he got robbed by. This didn't sit well with the Austrian team as they were really furious with how Sky F1 has been taking constant shots at their team and disrespecting the two-time world champion Verstappen. However, Martin Brundle from Sky F1 took a subtle shot at Verstappen and the saga just keeps going on. During the Mexican GP, Ted Kravitz was walking down the pit lane and he was talking about Lewis Hamilton. When referring to the Briton, he called him an eight-time world champion. And although he corrected himself right away, he continued to speak about the 2021 finale and took some shots towards Verstappen and his championship winning season. According to Kravitz, Verstappen robbed Hamilton of his record-breaking eighth championship, and it would be a great plot for a movie. This is something that didn't sit well with Red Bull, who decided to boycott Sky F1 during the Mexican GP. However, this is a decision that will only last at the Mexican GP and won't last throughout the next GP in Brazil. Horner said that this is something they wanted to do because they wanted to show the F1 world that they are a team with their own integrity and that nobody could go through them and take cheap shots like that. Verstappen won the 2022 championship with four races to spare, and anyone who thinks that he robbed Hamilton out of the 2021 championship is truly delusional. When talking about this manner, Horner said, We were obviously disappointed with a series of derogatory comments that have been made on Sky, so we felt that this weekend we'd just take a break, and that it wouldn't do Sky any harm for us to take a break this weekend. There needs to be a balance in the commentary. Some of the commentary is excellent, but in some of the commentary, there's too much sensationalization. We stand together as a team. Next race, service will be resumed. We just wanted to lay down a marker and say certain things aren't acceptable. And as a team, we stand together and we stand united as a team. Sky F1 is a streaming service that is available in multiple countries, such as Italy and Germany, and Red Bull's boycott went to all of the Sky F1 services, not just the UK one. During this season, fans have been really furious with the way Sky F1's commentators have behaved towards Verstappen and the other teams compared to Mercedes. The bias is more than presentable, and that is something that the F1 world doesn't need in any way. One could always ask the question of freedom of speech and argue that Kravitz is entitled to his own opinion and everyone else is too. However, freedom of speech is another thing, and directly accusing another driver of robbing another driver of the championship battle when it was clear that Verstappen was the better driver throughout the season and he lost the groove in the last three races is just delusional. Sky F1 seems to forget the outcome of the Silverstone and the Hungarian GP, and they're only counting the races where Hamilton had questionable calls from his team, such as the Abu Dhabi GP and the decision to leave him out in the open and not call him in the pit lane. Horner spoke about the matter of freedom of speech, adding, Well, an accusation of championships being robbed is something that we don't feel is an impartial commentary. That is, we don't feel fair or balanced in any way. Max was very upset about it, and as a team, we support him fully. We were equally upset about it. As a team, we took the decision this weekend, and I took the decision, that we'll have a weekend off. Red Bull are a cheap target sometimes. Although many were quick to bash Kravitz for his moves and his actions, he received support from his colleagues. One colleague who was continuous in his support for his pundit was Martin Brundle. According to him, Kravitz should continue doing what he does best, which seems to be taking cheap shots at champions that aren't named Lewis or aren't coming from Mercedes. Nevertheless, Brundle spoke, For the avoidance of doubt, my friend and colleague Ted Kravitz has had my full support for the past 26 years. Face-to-face -face dialogue is the only way to sort out issues and settle disputes in the relentless crucible of the F1 paddock. We all have opinions and different jobs to do. That's life. We really want to see how things will unwind if, for example, a commentator that is not affiliated with Sky F1 goes out and says 2008 was a sham. Timo Glock deliberately slowed to gift Hamilton his title. Imagine the investigation report that Sky F1 would do in order to defend Hamilton and his first title. 
Nevertheless, what they're doing now is very unprofessional, and the fact that Mercedes hasn't spoken a word about it just goes on to show that they may even support claims like this. If you go to the other side of the fence, when Hamilton was booed during the Mexico GP, you saw Perez wagging his finger in disapproval and asking the fans to stop doing that. Did we see Hamilton do the same thing at Silverstone? To be honest, not really. But to give credit where it's due, Hamilton and Verstappen both condemned the boos that happened in Silverstone and Australia, respectively, saying that the sport can be a toxic place at times, and that is exactly what they don't need in this moment. Verstappen spoke about his decision not to talk to Sky F1 or to Ted Kravitz as he literally walked next to them and his microphone through the pit lane. It had nothing to do with this weekend. But this year, it's been a constant. Yeah, kind of like being disrespectful every day, especially by one particular person. And it's enough. I don't accept it. You can't live in the past. You just have to move on. Social media is a very toxic place, and if you're constantly being like that live on TV, you make it worse instead of trying to make it better. You keep disrespecting me, and at one point, I'm not tolerating it anymore. That's why I decided to stop answering them. Ted Kravitz has broken his silence about this matter, and although it wasn't directly from him, a reporter from Zigo Sport said that he had a talk with Ted through WhatsApp, saying that his words were widely taken out of context. Pluij is a reporter that works for Zigo Sport, and according to him, Brundle was understood wrong. If you listen carefully to that interview, he's walking through the paddock, and he says it would be a very nice script for a film. So, cuts were made to that, so everyone only gets to hear that last bit where he tells us he was robbed. Not Max, but the title. So Hamilton has been robbed, he doesn't even mention the whole name, Max Verstappen. He, Kravitz, sent a WhatsApp message to me saying, At no point have I ever said what Christian Horner, Joss, Raymond, or anybody else thinks I did, and are apparently upset about. It is hugely amplified again by those in England. The English press has been bashing Red Bull and Max for a year now. I don't like that. It's a bit of a game, you know? The English are bashing Max and Red Bull, and he's now being put forward as a scapegoat. He isn't. I stick up for Ted. Sticking up for someone who said something that can be understood wrongly so easily is a brave and bold move to make. But that's what reporters and journalists do. If this is the case, why hasn't Kravitz spoken about this matter personally and publicly and apologized to Verstappen for understanding him wrong? After all, Verstappen is a two-time world champion, similar to what Alonso is now, and is on the place to become one of the greatest drivers in the world. Competitiveness on the track is one thing, but fueling the fire and opening old wounds outside of the track are something that journalists and reporters shouldn't do in any case. That is something that Kravitz did, and we'll give him the benefit of the doubt as to whether or not this was done deliberately. However, it's something that has affected the sport negatively, and as of now, Hamilton is light years away in performance from Verstappen in the 2022 season. We've seen that throughout the year, and it could be the fact that Hamilton won't reach the eighth record-breaking championship title that is hurting Sky F1 more than ever, so they're acting the way they are. What do you think about this whole matter? Let us know in the comments below.